you are watching this video from your PCs or smartphones. 50 years ago, your PC would have occupied an entire room. 50 years from now, hopefully your PC or smartphone will be smaller, lighter and faster than it is today. This will mean scaling down the size of each of the components, including the electrical wires that make up these devices. Sounds simple enough. Now imagine taking a 1 mm size copper wire and slicing it. To what extent can you slice it? Half? Quarter? I bet it sounds hard now. Now what if we arrange the metal atoms one by one just like we would build a house using Legos? This can be done by arranging the metal atoms inside a backbone. But this is easier said than done. These backbones that are used to arrange these metal atoms are often complex organic molecules that takes months of laborious synthesis. This is where my research comes into play. I use the most common organic molecule known to man, the DNA, to arrange the metal atoms. In a lab, a DNA can be built using four building blocks, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, or A, T, G, and C. But now you'll be wondering, but what about the metal ions? My colleagues and I found that by modifying the natural building block A, you can construct a modified building block Ea, which can bind to copper ion. A pair of these Ea building blocks can bind to copper ion by forming Ea copper ion Ea complex. So all you have to do is stack your Ea building blocks on top of each other to construct a DNA strand and add the copper ions to form a double helix. The two DNA strands in this double helix will be joined together by copper ions and in this way, you can construct nanometer size wires, which is 1 million times smaller than the 1 millimeter size copper wire that you were slicing in your imagination. This technique is very simple. It takes only a few days to complete and is versatile because you can design a variety of building blocks, each with a unique capacity to bind to a specific metal ion. In this way, you can construct metallo-DNA nanowires which are electrically conducting and magnetic and could possibly be the world's thinnest electrically conducting and magnetic metal wires. Hopefully 50 years from now, both you and your PC will have DNA inside it. Thank you.